Hi everybody, this is the key readings. And this reading is going to be for Virgo. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Let's see what are the messages that pop out for you, Virgo. It is going to be for Virgo. Virgo, Virgo <laughs> you can check out the link in the description box to find out more about the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you? Their next moves towards you. Outcome of the situation between the two of you. Advice, oracle messages, love notes, messages from the universe. Guidance that you may need. So do check it out. I'll be linking it below. Who are you cutting out? <laughs> Looks like a situation became very burdening for you. Rather than making you happy, it was making you sad. So you just decided to walk away from this. Okay. Let's see though. What do we have for Virgo? What do we have for Virgo? Wow, we have the magician at the bottom of the deck here. I feel like you're lacking hope in a certain situation. And you view it as a situation that is not really moving forward. Okay, but it is moving forward. There's something being manifested again in your life. Um, we have the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Swords energy. Ooh, with the Seven of Pentacles. It looks like somebody here got tired of waiting. And then, and then they were like, maybe I'm not supposed to be waiting here. Maybe I am supposed to leave the situation so somebody here definitely got tired of waiting okay what i'm also seeing for you virgo is that there's a new path that you're choosing um there's a new way of doing things here there's a new passionate beginning here that you could be working towards because we have the hangman and the ace of swords energy which the two of these cards to me represent that it's like a sudden burst of motivation, okay? To do things, to achieve things, to work towards things, to gain your confidence again. Uh, you did lose your self-confidence, but you're gaining it back. I do see that. Um, another thing I am getting here for you, Virgo, is that There's some sort of a new opportunity here, and it's only escalating because we have Knight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, Hierophant, Three of Pentacles. So it looks like somebody's coming towards you with a stable offer, but it's not like somebody's coming in and being like, hey, let's just get married. It's like things will move forward uh, from this. I also feel like your money is looking really good. There's a new opportunity. I feel like for some of you, your money slowed down or... You know, something in your life did slow down, but I do feel like there's going to be... Okay, I feel like there's your advice in this reading as well. I'm going to tell you how, because I feel like the good thing here about you is that you... Something wasn't going as planned, and you still, you know, didn't get disheartened. It's like you picked yourself back up, and you're working on something, and it's a new passionate beginning that you're working towards. And it's a new way of doing things. Perhaps you need to change your perspective about something. Perhaps you, you need to, um, I don't know, I do not know. Something about changing your perspective, okay, is big here. Something about... Working towards um, something big, actually. And working towards it, not like sitting for things to fall in your lap, which is good, which is why I said perseverance. But it's, it's, it's almost looking like you got sick of... <laughs> 
you got sick of trying to um, contemplate on a certain situation and think of a way where is it going it's, it's almost look like it's almost looking like you're giving up on something because you got tired of thinking about it it's like fuck it you know i'm just not gonna be hopeful about it and problem solved but it's like boom back from the dead with the <laughs> ten of swords and the magician energy okay <laughs> it's like maybe a situation that was you know um seeming to be over is coming to life again it's either you i do not know who this is but it's like it's a person i think somebody here got really really um in that energy where oh, i do not want this to happen right and then You know, going through that dark phase has motivated you for something. And I do feel like there are big changes on the horizon for you. Marriage is one of them. I'm seeing a big wish fulfillment. But I also feel like you need to not stand in your own way of um, your healing. Okay. I do not know why I'm taking so long <laughs> to say things because it's like a lot of messages are coming in my mind. I'm also seeing that there's communication coming in from somebody, but your focus is a lot on it. Not on it, I apologize. Your focus is not on it. Your focus is on yourself and it's something you're not seeing coming towards you. So maybe some of you are waiting for it, and but I feel like most of you are not because I said that you are doing things differently, you know? It's like making that decision to walk away and sitting, um, contemplating, and then being like, okay, that's it. I'm going to go down this path. We have the two of wands energy, a decision being made here. You're releasing something. It almost look, it's almost looking like you're releasing something and you're hoping for a new beginning here. And the universe is assisting you in it, which is good. I also see some sort of a partnership working out in your favor. It could be a business partnership. Okay. Let's see. What do we have for Virgo? Do check out the link in the description box, Virgo, to find out more about the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you? Their next moves towards you? Outcome of the situation between the two of you? Advice, oracle messages, love notes? And any other guidance that you may need? Okay. The temperance energy. Give me their Parsons energy a bit as well. See, so it's like choosing your own healing or letting it happen. Ace of Wands. There is communication coming in. So your energy and this person's energy is aligning again, which is maybe why this is happening with the magician energy, which is why you both are coming together again. Remember, if this is not a past person, it could be a new person that you may connect with. Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands on both of yours is Paul. This represents willingness to start things over or a new beginning overall. Uh, for you, actually, um, Virgo, I'm seeing that there is a lot of independence in your energy. There's a sense of taking action towards your independence. And why? Because you feel like stability at this time is very important for you to feel balanced, to feel at peace. Okay, so you're prioritizing things differently. Give me their Parsons energy a bit and the rest we will clarify in the extended, all right? Ace of Pentacles, the Justice energy. Okay, so this is somebody who wants to make amends. 
this is somebody who is seeing the potential here with you that's why okay so this is that situation coming back to life after it's been done and i feel like you were just accepting the fact that it's done and boom here is this person but with this person i'm going to tell you to be very careful because there is a little bit of a deception here which made you walk away in the first place virgo okay let's see what do we have for virgo They don't want to see you with someone else. <laughs> oh, so this uh, this person's getting jealous, or it's either that they're imagining things <laughs> in their head that you have somebody else in your life, which maybe you do. You could be casually talking to somebody, but they don't want to see you with somebody else. What do we have for Virgo? True love. Okay, Gemini got similar energy. Maybe you're connecting with the Gemini. I feel like there was so much love in a certain connection, Virgo, but you always felt disconnected because the other person wasn't opening much, uh, opening up much about their feelings. Mm -hmm. Let's see. What do we have for Virgo? So I feel like there's love coming in. And there are new beginnings happening for you. Bring love into the situation. Strange energy. It's a new energy with a new moon. Aquarius energy. I feel like this is the universe's way. Yeah, it's <laughs> Virgo, another new energy, new moon energy. So the energy is gaining momentum at the bottom of the deck. So what I see here for you, Virgo, is that it's the message for you from this reading is to actually work on yourself. Um, is to actually not lose faith, not lose hope. Okay. opening your heart to receive this love because I feel like there is definitely something coming up for you that's big and that could lead to marriage because we do have the ace of pentacles and the hierophant energy together that's it those were the energies that popped out for Virgo I hope you enjoyed this reading if you did give it a like and subscribe to my channel check out the extended version link down below in the description box do give this video a like take care and bye bye